Folks are asking me how SmartSuite compares to ClickUp. So I'd like to point out a few key things that SmartSuite is solving when you're comparing SmartSuite to ClickUp. So first of all, ClickUp is a, from just from a positioning standpoint, ClickUp is a task slash project management software. So everything in there is a task, it's a project. Um, it's very hard to create a database in there as opposed to SmartSuite, it is the most easy, user-friendly product to create a relational database, uh, link products, link uh, records from one to another, and so on and so forth. That's that's like just from a positioning standpoint where SmartSuite can be a project slash task management software because we have the necessary features like sub items, checklists, the my work section that rolls up a user's tasks from across the platform and so on, but looks a lot like Airtable where you can create a no-code database and we have um, a great relational database in here. At the same time, you can create a relational database in here, which is something that in ClickUp you can't really do. Um, a few key things to mention when you're looking at SmartSuite compared to ClickUp. So first of all, in ClickUp, one of the biggest challenges, which is part of the challenge why you can't really create a database in ClickUp, is that anytime you're assigned to a record, the record shows up in your home section, which clogs up your home section because you can be assigned to many different records or many different tasks in ClickUp that are not necessarily action items or to-do items. They're just uh, pieces of data that you were assigned to, but they're still showing up in your home section. So you end up with a tremendous amount of things there and it's hard to understand what's a to-do item, what's not. And SmartSuite, we're actually smart enough. When you set up an assignee field type, and I'm going to go into the assignee settings, we have the section over here that says display in my work section. So the my work section is the equivalent of, you know, the home page in ClickUp where you can see all of your to-do items and you can group it by different things. So I can group it by due date. I can group it by solution, priority, so on. And then I can click right in and start working on whatever it is, commenting, so on and so forth. But we don't roll up everything into the My Work section. We make sure that only to-do items get rolled up in the My Work section. And the way we do that is when you go in and set up an assignee field type on any works on any app, solution, workspace, um, there's a section in those settings that say display in the My Work section, and you have to link it to a status field type. If you link the assignee to a status, then we display it in the My Work section, and we also link the due date to the status and we know this is a to-do item. If I don't link it, even though I'm assigned here to this record, it won't show up in the My Work section. So that's how we make sure only your to-do items show up. A few other key things to mention is that the way we look at checklist items is as a field type, which means that you can set up multiple different checklist uh, lists as a field type, right? I can set up checklist one and add this field and then set up checklist two. So in ClickUp, you only have one set of checklists. So even if different checklists are, you know, different categories of checklists, you have to just dump them all in one checklist. Over here, you can have endless field types and each one is a checklist, right? So that's another, you know, key feature that you may enjoy SmartSuite over ClickUp with. Um, another piece is our sub items. So obviously ClickUp has sub items. The challenge is, is that sub items in ClickUp will only allow you to have the same statuses and custom fields as the parent task versus in SmartSuite, you come in here and you can add your own custom fields or modify any of the existing default fields um, and have your own custom fields on the sub item that are not on the parent item or the, the main item. And which means you can have your own set of statuses, checklists, uh, your own set of uh, multi-select, single select, and so on, right? So that becomes a lot it's it's just an interesting feature where you can have sub items with their own custom statuses and, and uh, field types. Um, the other piece to it is sections and uh, page settings. So I can change my page settings to 50-50 or 70-30. But note, we're going to go back for a second to 50-50. That's a setting I like. I have sections in here. And I can drag and drop fields in and out of sections or into other sections. I can set up a new section and call it whatever I want. I can have it collapsed by default or expanded by default. Um, even if the field is empty, I can still 
place it in a specific section or in a specific order and not just have it show up as like, oh, it's empty, so I'm not going to even see it. No, like I can see that this field is empty. Um, and so also becomes a lot easier to manage a lot more field types on the same record, but still be able to manage information. I mean, in general, smart is like so much simpler, as you can see, you just put things in sections or whatnot. Um, so those are like just a few of the key features that you'll find there are tremendous, there's a tremendous amount of more features, but, uh, just wanted to point out a few quick things, right? Um, actually, as I'm thinking about it, one more cool thing is our recycle bin. So my recycle bin right now is empty, but if I delete records, I'm going to delete these records. And now I'm going to go into my recycle bin and they're right here. I can restore them. Depends on your plan type on how long they can stay here. Um, but these are just a few key features that I think are just game changer features when you compare Smart Suite to ClickUp. Um, again, just to summarize, from a positioning standpoint, not only can you have tasks and projects in here, you can also have a no code database, a relational database in here, and link things from across the entire workspace, not only within the same solution or app as we call it. We call these solutions and apps, right? So, like each one of these tiles is a solution, and then in the solution, you have apps. Um, from a standpoint of just the UI. I mean, people, when they come in here, they go, oh, wow, this is such a gorgeous UI. This must be a really simple software. But then they realize it's just as powerful and even more powerful than any other software that you know. Um, it's just, you know, the way it's designed is incredible. Um, oh, one last thing is grouping. So you can have multiple groupings. So I can group by, let's say, customer. And within customer, I can group by status. Or I can group by... You know, like you can group by whatever, you can have groupings within groupings and you can have all groupings collapse by default or expanded by default. So either way, just uh, a few cool features. Uh, let us know as you're kind of comparing SmartSuite to ClickUp or any other software, what key features you think SmartSuite excels at compared to the software that you're used to or, or, or looking at or comparing. Let us know in the comments below.